We as parents spend so much time worrying about our kids And it's unacceptable. And I know that may sound harsh, but honestly, there's nowhere in the Bible that says to us, worry or be anxious. If anything, the Bible tells us to do the opposite. The Bible says be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving in our hearts, let our requests be made known unto him. And when you do so, you're going to watch the peace of God rule in your hearts and minds. We have to trust that we serve a God that's so much bigger than the situations that our kids are going to go through. And I'm telling you, and I'm here to tell you that I am... I can tell you firsthand that I'm the person who does this. I just did it last week. My kids are about to start school. And I can... I'll be the first one to tell you that I was worrying about it and I found myself worrying and thinking about it and worrying about it and thinking about it and expressing my worries to my friends or expressing my worries to my husband. And God was like, yo, listen to me. You're not even bringing your requests unto me. I mean, I would do the quick like, all right, God, like just give me a piece about this situation or God, super quick, just, you know, you know, let me be okay with them going back to school and let me not worry about it. But like, it's not something that we like spend 24 hours a day worrying about or 23.95 hours worrying about. And then the other five seconds, we let our request be made known under God. Parents, we have got to do a better job of not worrying about our kids, but coming to the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, with our prayers and our supplications and thanksgiving in our heart. Let those requests be made known unto him and watch his unexplainable peace happen in our lives. I love Mary, the Virgin Mary, as we all know her. So here it is. She has an angel who comes and talks to her and basically tells her of all this stuff. And at first she's startled and she says, wait, what? What is going on? But I love here in Luke uh, chapter 1, verse 34, It says, how can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that holy one who is to be born will be called the son of God. Then it goes on to talk about Elizabeth. And Mary says to the angel of the Lord, behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word and the angel departed from her and one thing that i want to point out about mary's heart attitude was she was submissive to the plans and the future of god's will and i think that's one thing that we get so unsettled about when it comes to our kids because it's like we're placing our kids you know let's take school for instance or their health and or drop (laughs) as a pastor dropping your kids off in class, at church. We have to understand that there's a lot of unknowns that are going to happen when we take our kids to school or we drop them into a class at church, when we don't necessarily know the people who are going to be the ones who are supposed to be protective over our kids. But we have to trust that our God is so much bigger than that. Our God reigns in the affairs of man. So we have to get to this place Mary, she was going to birth a son whose sole purpose was to die on a cross for the sins of a bunch of people who didn't deserve forgiveness or redemption. That was her child's sole purpose. Sole purpose was to die. We have children and we know that God has given each and every one of them a purpose, but we have to be able to trust God for the plans and purposes that he has for our kids where we can get to this place that say, God, I'm gonna submit to your plans in my future and not only my future, but God, I'm going to trust the future that you have for my children. So Lord, I don't have to be anxious sending them to school. Lord, I don't have to be anxious when it comes to my kids' health. Lord, I don't have to be anxious when it comes to the relationships that my kids are going to make and and how people may hurt them or how people may impact them. God, I'm not going to be anxious when it comes to placing my child into the hands of other people, whether it be church or school. Lord, I'm not going to be anxious because you say be anxious for nothing, 
but in everything, prayer and supplication, let my request be made known unto you. And when you do that, I love the following scripture. I can, I can read it to you. It's in Philippians 4. In Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So we have to... We have to allow, I'm like getting super hyped up about this because it's a, it's a huge topic in parents these days with, you know, like wanting to just kind of like shelter our kids from everything. But we have to realize that they say it takes a village and we can say, well, we don't trust what they say, but the Bible says that we're the body of Christ and we cannot function without one another. So we have to understand that we create this support system for our kids, but we have to allow the youth pastor to speak into their lives. Even if you get to the point where your kid's a young adult, you have to allow that young adult pastor to speak into your life. If you have kids who are children in children's ministry, trust the church and the body of Christ that they have placed people over your kids who are gonna be able to speak to them and teach them and love them and help shape them. We as parents cannot do it on our own and he's not called us to do it on our own. But again, going back to this, this anxious mind that we have created in society because they've caused us to just be anxious about everything, we have to realize that the Bible says be anxious for nothing. And not only is he going to give us a peace that is so unexplainable and surpasses all understanding, but now we can allow, when we have that peace of God, to kind of direct us in our children's lives we now have the comfort of the Holy Spirit. That when God says, yes, send your kid to this school, or yes, this is the test that I want you to run for their health, or no, don't be worried about this, but relax and let me take care of it. Then we have the Holy Spirit as our comforter to come in and allow God to comfort us. So boom, don't be anxious for anything. Boom, let your request be made known unto God, not just a two second thing, but spend time in prayer for your children going back to, are you allowing yourself to worry more than you pray for it? Three, let God's peace direct your steps. And four, once you make that decision for your kids, allow God's comfort to be over your life. And we can know that the God who created the heavens and the earth is also holding your child in the palm of his hand.